sir. We have a priority signal from the Star Destroyer then. Right. We're back for another video. Today we're talking about defense strategy, specifically for the Empire against torpedo-heavy specific teams. How to uh, how to intercept the ca the countermeasures, how to intercept the torpedoes, uh, how to actually set up your fleet to defend properly. What each person does in the squadron, what roles need to get filled, and uh, basic defense strategy. Right for the Empire side. So we're gonna jump right in and take a look at what we got here. So, pretty self-explanatory. We have MC-75 on the enemy side. We have the righteous protecting ISD Star Destroyer on the right here. <laughs> and, uh, and we have some pretty complicated graphics going on here for this one, so I'll explain this. What most teams need to understand, now for top level pilots this is all redundant information. Uh, most of you already know this. But this is geared towards the uh, beginner and intermediate skilled pilots out there who still need to learn uh, basic defense strategy, right? A lot of times what I find is um, when you're queuing and your team isn't fully communicating, a lot of times the idea is typically intercept um, and secure kills, which in most cases um, would work effectively. So if you were TIE Defender 1 here, you would fly around, intercept this X-Wing, kill this X-Wing, move to the next guy, so on and so forth. But what happens at high level, I find, excuse me, is um, <laughs> securing the kill on the X-Wings or the interceptors uh, becomes increasingly difficult with how much better the pilots become and how much they uh, utilize their uh, defensive systems like the jammers, and um, the cloaks from the from the from the squad masks and stuff like that. So securing kills becomes much more difficult. Also, teams at higher levels are pushing strategy hard when it comes to what target they're attacking, how they're attacking it, how well coordinated they are, and these things all need to get taken into account. So for a basic defense strategy for the Empire, uh, it's similar to the Republic, but for the Empire, what you're going to do is we're going to do a two bomber or two farmer defense strategy, right? So what needs to happen is Alpha 4 and Alpha 3 are going to go in TIE bombers, and they're going to be fit with Goliath missiles, multi-locks, and uh, a various amount of other systems. Typically, they're using a jet engine with reinforced hull. And they are going for NPC spawns, right? because each NPC, if this whole stack gets neutralized, I think it's about 15 points, which is um, just a bit more than uh, having a player kill. So every stack they neutralize, it's as if they were shooting down uh, an X-Wing. And it can be extremely difficult to secure kills, like I said, at high levels. Most matches at high levels, um, you're lucky to secure six to eight kills. Anything more than that, and um, someone's having a bad day. <laughs> Okay, so what does this uh, blue kind of screen look like, right, and these arrows? So what's happening right here is this is a typical enemy formation when it comes to um, attacking the Architons cruisers, right? So what's happening is these two TIE defenders, Alphas 1 and 2, are split up between Architons cruisers A and B. And this little blue circle around it is the distance in which the chaff countermeasure so the distance in which the particle burst or chaff countermeasure uh, saturates its area. The yellow lines indicate the torpedo lines or the distance from the X-Wing towards the um, uh, Architon's cruiser or the, the shot angle, right? So if he wants to get his torpedo to land on the Architon's cruiser, he needs to get 1500 meters away, have a continuous lock with no brakes, before he gets to within 500, releases the torpedo at minimum range, it only needs to sail 500 more meters and it'll hit the target. What this defender is doing is defending. 
So what it's doing is it's getting in between X-Wing 1 and his shot pattern so that he breaks that pattern right here. So he has to swing all the way around and come back again for another shot. Okay? What this does is it increases the amount of time that these X-Wings have to take to do damage against the Architons. Defense strategy is not about securing kills because the NPCs getting shot down are going to push the morale meter from half and it's going to keep dropping it, dropping it, dropping it. So there's only a limited amount of time for these X-Wings to secure their points on target. Okay, and the, the idea behind this is while these two bombers are hard at work uh, applying damage to the NPC waves, uh, the two defenders and the support ship are using their chaff countermeasures to stop incoming torpedoes and uh, fight off and destroy, if they can, some of the X-Wings and A-Wings that are coming in, right? Now, remember, it's not about how many kills you get or what kills you get. It's nice that TIE Defender Alpha-1 here can swoop in behind this A-Wing, blast him, gun him down, and actually get the kill. But if this A-Wing sweeps by and then goes this way and goes all the way back to midfield, drags this TIE Defender all the way back to the Nebulon, now that TIE Defender is, let's say, over here, this Architon's cruiser is now completely undefended. And that's not what we want. We want to avoid that situation at all costs. We want to chase this A-Wing, if he flies past and we can't secure the kill but we shoot him down to like 10% structure and he's he's starting to fly home at this point right here just before midfield the tie defender should go mm, nope and it should circle around and return to a defensive position All right if you can do this and remain disciplined you will stop a lot of incoming damage against your architect's cruisers the stage will flip because you have NPC uh, pressure from the bombers so eventually the morale will flip and then you can go on the offensive, right? Uh, this right here resembles the enemy U-Wing using a squadron cloak. So what happens is a lot of times teams will use uh, fighters or fighter bombers to come in and do their torpedo runs. And as they're coming in, they'll cloak their fighters as the attack wave starts. So this TIE Defender, no matter how good he is, he's not going to be able to get behind these X-Wings and engage them because he can't even target them. So what needs to happen is you need to be fully 100% on interception of incoming damage. Because if you can stop the torpedo volleys from these X-Wings, which is not that hard once you, once you understand what angle they're coming from. And don't forget too, they don't have to have the torpedo launched in the air. It doesn't have to be fired at 500 meters flat. You can pop your chaff at 1500 meters while he's aiming towards the Architon's cruiser and that will break the lock, which means he's got to come around for another pass, and that takes time. And in that time, you can come in behind him and start engaging, right? Which, which, which buys time for your team to NPC farm and get everything ready to go. Boom, flip the stage. Now it's on your time to attack, right? Now, the ion guns marks a, an ion missile on the support ship on defense, right? Its primary objective is the raider, right here. The Raider is worth a lot of morale. It also does a tremendous amount of damage to the uh, to your friendly frigates. Um, and so it's priority number one, right? The fighter screen's job, okay, as, as primary target is to chaff and intercept incoming damage to the frigates. That's the primary role of the fighter screen, is to stop and protect the two frigates that are taking damage. The secondary objective is to secure kills if they have the opportunity, but their primary objective is to protect and stop incoming damage from the frigates. Okay? Secondary objective for them is to help with the raider if you have a chance. And both of these bombers, notice how their primary uh, is for, say, Alpha 3 here. So the bombers have to communicate which one is responsible for which thing. Primary for him is NPC X Wings. Once he's knocked out a wave and he's sweeped around, he'll come help out with the raider. The primary for this bomber is primary on the raider and then X-Wing swarms. So once the raider has been destroyed, he goes back to farming X-Wing uh, waves if, uh, if the morale isn't high enough. And this support ship right here with ion missile 
and ion guns will strip and destroy the raider's shields very quickly, which means the two fighters can spend all their time doing what their primary objective is, and that's protecting the frigates from incoming hostile damage. And if they see stuff like A-wings coming in with rockets and multi-locks, the, uh, the damage that those uh, weapon systems will do is not alpha damage, it's more damage over time. So if you let that A-wing buzz around and continue to shoot at the frigate, for one, two minutes, yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage. But if, if, you're, if your TIE Defender is here, he can sweep around, engage, shoot, 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 fight that A-Wing off, back out to midfield, and then use his chaff to countermeasure incoming torpedoes. Buying enough time to survive the wave and then go on the offensive, okay? So that pretty much wraps it up, folks. Uh, this is what every position in the squadron should be doing. Um, bombers, double farming, one is uh, primary focused on the raider, the other one is focused on uh, knocking out NPC waves. Chaff countermeasuring incoming torpedoes, being responsible for protecting the frigates first and then chasing down and securing kills. Uh, and then the support ship is to knock out the shields on the raider and support with marks to help the TIE defenders um, destroy incoming fighters. So that's pretty much it folks, I hope you learned something. Uh, the next video I will make, I think tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun doing this, and I really appreciate everyone who's come by and uh, and watched these videos. I want to educate people, I want to teach people, um, and I want to see the game do well and grow. And it's up to all of us, right? So if you felt like this was useful, you felt like you learned something, uh, feel free to share it with your friends, uh, have them share it. Make sure you hit that like button, it really helps. And I will see all of you in the next class. For the Empire.